bought me some new trainers. Yes, I have finally bought me some new trainers, guys. And I'm like, hello, it's good to finally let go. I ain't worried about a thing. I just like to keep it mellow. Yeah, I like to keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. Yo family, what is going on? Welcome to Monday, welcome to the channel. This is a quick review, I guess a mini little vlog. For the OG subscribers out there, you guys know, right? I've, I've used the same trainers pretty much for the last four years on this channel. Um, but we'll come to that in a second. But today's video is just uh, me really reviewing these bad boys, which are in fact the Nike Varsity City React. Nike React, I don't know how you wanna call it, but the Nike React City. Uh, trainers and I'm gonna test them out. I haven't actually used them. You can see they're like super fresh I bought them last week and I put it out on Instagram. Do you guys you know want to see a review? Do you want to know what's going on with them? And a lot of you came back and said yes So that is this video for today and although I'm gonna try and give you guys my recommendations on trainers uh, And the best ones to use for skipping in my opinion. You have to remember. I'm not a scientist I'm not a physio. I'm not a professional in that sense uh, so you really have to make your own choice and really understand that I'm not trying to spread a lot of bro science out here I'm just trying to give you guys my experience and my expertise based on my my yeah my experiences That's all it is really like I'm gonna give you uh, Three points that I always look out for in any trainers that I buy or you know trainers that I use for skipping The first one is they need to be comfortable, right? I don't care if they make you jump higher faster or you know, whatever they look amazing they need to be comfortable. That just goes without saying, and I hope you guys are doing the same out there. The second point is the fact that you don't want anything that you're using to make, I don't know, give you injuries, as it were, right? So it is kind of comfort, like, linked to the first point, but you don't want to be using things like Timberlands or boots or things that just have no support anywhere, um, you know, bad for your arch or your whatever it is, okay? So you need to keep that in mind. The third point is they need to be stylish, okay? We all know this, right? You're not gonna buy trainers that look absolutely disgusting and horrible and ugly. Uh, you need to look, uh, you need to look slick, man. You know, you, you've got these slick skills when you're moving just like a boss with the rope. Um, you don't wanna ruin it, right? You don't wanna ruin it with bad looking trainers. So yeah, you do need to look a little bit stylish. So that's kind of like the third point and um, that is pretty much what we're gonna kind of roll with in this video. I'm gonna give you a quick kind of rundown of the trainers I've used on this channel and in the past when I've skipped and to give you a kind of brief feedback and review on those. And then I'm gonna whip these out, take them to the gym, and I'm gonna keep the camera rolling and give you guys an honest review. I'm not a Nike ambassador. They're not paying me for this video. Um, and I'm just gonna just keep it raw. So I'm gonna put these to the side for one second. Okay, so the first ever set of shoes or trainers, and the fact they're not even trainers that I use for skipping, are these, man. They're like a version of these. These are AstroTurf. So I used to play a lot of football, um, and I can't remember what these are even called but I literally uh, used to start skipping in these in the gym and I've got, I think, pictures and a few videos, but I never posted on Instagram or created YouTube by this point. I was just practicing, right? And these were horrible, man. Look how small this little bit is here. Uh, the soles of my feet used to kill. It has no flex. Um, they're not comfortable and it has these ridges on the bottom, obviously for football, uh, which used to catch on the rope. It, they're just not the ones, right? So you don't want to use those. The second set of trainers, and in fact, I believe these actually, like these are the first ever trainers I used on my first ever video. These are Nike Prestos, um, and I like these, man. These were cool. Uh, they were just kind of, at the time, just my normal casual trainers that I, wear, I was wearing kind of around the gym uh, at the same time, so I decided to try these. Uh, what I liked was that they were kind of light. Uh, they were really comfortable. Presto, like, the Presto line was super always comfortable. Like, this is before the fly net ever got released. Um, but the problem was that the heel and like there was a bit bulk on the sole. I didn't really like them too much Yeah, it just that that was just that but I then tried boxing boots right briefly and boxing boots um, I just felt like okay, you know Mayweather skipping. I'm learning from Mayweather. He's a boxer. He uses boxing shoes I need to try boxing shoes and that was it like I ended up buying these Lonsdale ones which are super cheap I didn't go for the big flashy kind of Reebok Nike ones at the time and whilst I like these uh, for the ankle support, you know, it, it helped with like kind of lateral movements and things like that um, and they felt just supportive across the whole foot. Uh, the thing that I didn't really like was that they were super flat and I'm quite flat footed and these then started to give me a bit of pain um, and they were heavy. They were super heavy man compared to like, yeah, just normal training. So I then put these down and, and I found these. Yes, my beloved Nike Flyknit. 3.0 is a trainer that has caused a storm across the world. A lot of you have asked about these trainers. Um, I do get this 
uh, the same question every single day about them. What trainers do you use? What version of Nike Fly Nets are they? And just look, man, they're just built for skipping. Look at that, that is like the soul. Look at that, man. It's just amazing. That arch, that flex, beautiful. And it just feels like a sock, right? And um, this sole being so like thin, flat, whatever you want to call it, I like that because it just helped with just timing and feeling of the floor. And imagine when the rope's going underneath my foot here, yeah? Like, look at the space I've got here just to clear. Like, everything, the timing, um, just, ah, oh, it just feels so good. I'm, I'm actually now thinking I made a mistake in buying these new trainers. Uh, but these had to kind of get replaced, man. I've had them for so long. Um, they've just taken a beating. But they're just so comfortable, man. The first kind of real versions of the fly knits, they don't really make these anymore, man. They're really difficult to find. Uh, they've, like, got no tongue. Or I think the new ones have got tongues. Um, but they're just... They're just so light and they're the best trainers for me. Uh, <laughs> why am I changing trainers? Anyway, so now we've got these new ones, right? Now, I'm gonna quickly take you through the new ones. They have this zip on the top. Um, it's like a reflective zip. You take it down like this. It uncovers the fly knit like base, whatever you wanna call it, like the sock, which is nice and cool. So no laces this time. And I have tried them on in the shop, of course, and they fit like a glove. Uh, this little ankle support is, is new to me. Then you've also got kind of like little accents here. You've got reflector, reflector, another one here. You've got the night tick and you've got this really nice cool upper um, cover or this kind of coat over the, the fly knit. Um, I don't know if that's waterproof or what, but it feels kind of nice. Um, otherwise guys, uh, the differences are as follows, right? I've got a bigger sole. I've gone back to a bigger sole. Um, I'm not really sure how that's gonna really suit me. Um, the flex is not as flexy as the fly knit sock kind of feel, of course, but it does have some flex. It is a running trainer, uh, which actually brings me on to this. This has like a little bit of text as well, which says that it's been tested by all the runners or cool runners across the world, which I found really funny because I'm not going to run in them. But that said, um, I think they look super cool and I'm just hoping that they tick all three boxes uh, today. Um, and if they don't, you know, because I like them, I'm just going to keep them and I think they're just going to be like a nice casual trainer to walk around in. These set me back £130, which is about $150. Um, and I feel like they are, they are quite expensive. Yeah, they are quite expensive to be fair. They're like the most expensive trainer I've ever bought in my life. So they better be good. Right, so I'm super excited. Uh, I'm going to see what these are all about and just, uh, yeah, take you guys along for the ride. They literally feel like I'm kind of like floating on the floor. It's really weird, really springy. I don't know if that's gonna be helpful or not. I'm not really sure, I'm not convinced. I mean, I give it that, they do look cool. They look they look different. I mean, I'm always looking for like a different look. So I'll give it that. Um, right now, I'm more impressed with these, man. Look how sick these are. I'm so happy, guys, you don't understand, man. I'm gonna keep going on about these, but um, I've been working on these for like two years and it's so difficult to make uh, leggings or compression leggings that do actually feel and look good. And I, I just, I'm in love with these. Yes guys, welcome to the commentary. So today I decided to use a legacy rope for the testing. I felt like the extra thickness will kind of push my body to limits and push my jumps to limits. So I felt like this was the right rope to use. And here I am just promoting my leggings as I do. Um, it's out November the 2nd guys, 4 p.m. on the website. Please do not miss it, these are sick. Anyway, um, I ended up skipping for about 35 minutes or so guys and I was actually really surprised by these trainers. Um, I felt like the thicker soles um, would kind of, yeah, give me an issue or get in the way. And in fact, the trainers felt super light. I love the cushion. I love the springy effect that the soles have. Um, obviously it's made for running, so they're trying to keep obviously your feet feeling as comfortable as possible. And with the fly knits, I was really close to the ground and it felt like a sock. And in actual fact, I really preferred the feel of these. After 35, 40 minutes, my feet felt really good. And I just felt like, yeah, it was just like skipping as normal. And I guess when you come to the style, the look of it, uh, the comfort, it ticks all the boxes. Um, the only cons that I found was when I was trying to do these type of movements, when I was kind of going back and forth and the lateral movements you're about to see soon, um, is when the fly knit kind of, uh, yeah, I guess it just, it doesn't take the full shape of your feet, right? Maybe it comes in time, it needs to mold a little bit. But when I was doing these type of movements, that was the only time I felt like the shoe was kind of slipping around, uh, maybe because I have quite thin feet. Um, and uh, yeah, it just probably needs to mold a bit more to my feet shape. So other than that, guys, I really like them and I would really recommend them. That about wraps up that workout and um, hopefully you guys uh, got a good idea of how these trainers look, how they feel and uh, just remember guys, the main takeaway from this video is that there is no perfect trainer out there. You need to find what's most comfortable for you, what suits your style of skipping as well, which is really important 
and one that obviously looks good as well and matches your slick skipping style so uh bottom line is i really like these they surprise me and uh i maybe will still kind of look for the fly knits i will go searching for those epic electric blue colorways um but in the meantime i'm going to stick with these and uh, see where they take me. I'm gonna make sure I get you some more fire tutorials, workouts, and vlogs. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you in that next video. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace.